So what we're going to start with clippers, my snip, my snips, clips, whatever you want to call them, clippers. Uh, that's what I forgot. So I have to use my knife, and uh, it takes a little bit more time. All right, so we're going to snip, it. we're going to slip it through, just a ring like that. You're going to take your other end. You're going to swipe it right back through to where you got two ends here. You got your open end and you got your close end, right? It's going to be right in the middle. And you're going to make a little knot right here. Push it through. All right, here's, here's the only part right here. Oh, messed it up. Try again. That's a lot. I mean, I could probably do it a little bit better if I wasn't trying to film this, but... I want to try to film this. So, uh, camera and the bait at the same time. It's not working. All right. There's that. Boom. Bait through. Put it through one more time. Oof, missed. Put it through here. And the line is very small. I think I'm working with a four pound test. So, four pound line. I mean, the only thing you can get smaller than this is the two pound line. So, a uh, very small line that we're working with. It's it's pretty heavy duty. I, I usually go with uh, with the Cast King uh, Fluoro. All right, we got our looper there. We're gonna try it one more time. Boom, around the around the knot. I mean, making a regular loop, breaking a regular knot. And then here's the only here's the there's the last part of it. Once you have your little loop there, right, you're going to bring your bait completely through it. All right. All right. So my bait completely went through it, and now I can cinch it. Right. Put a little bit of lubricant on there, and by lubricant, I mean spit. Boom. Cinched. All right. Now you got your knot right there. All right. Hiking boots on. Backup shoes ready in the car. I got my backup clothes, clothes right there. I got my bait box that we're bringing with us right here. I got the keys in there. All right, so it is 11.25 right now. I got here at exactly 11. So it took me about 25 minutes of setup, prepping. Normally it goes a little bit faster, but since I'm trying to film, and this is my first time filming a uh, fishing ex expedition, just takes a little bit longer. No problem. No worries. These are some cabins here that you can you can rent and ride on the water. You can rent these straight from the state park. Uh, beautiful Broken Bow State Park. If you ever if you've never been here, you're missing out. Yeah, very cool place. So again, one of those things where I'm not sure if the camera does it justice, but very steep hill to get down. Um, I like coming down on the rocks, but these are the cabins. Those, those are, I mean, very basic, but I mean, they got everything that you need. So cool cabins uh, that you ever want to come stay at. Uh, you book them through straight through the website. That's why I parked right there. I parked right there. Uh, and then you walk down uh, and now we're at the river. Anyways, uh, so we're going to walk down. We're going to walk down a ways. Um, to get to the spot that where we like. I always love how these how these trees right here, they just grow. What are they, are they called spruce? They're so cool. Now, now around this time, it's about 50 degrees out right now. Uh, no sun, cloudy weather. Yeah, and, and that's our target fish for today. We're, tra we're targeting the trout, rainbow trout, brown trout, or if we get a palomino, that would be awesome. I've gotten, I've gotten one palomino trout, and it was beautiful. I'm gonna try to insert a little clip here, but um, that's a target fish. Uh, of course, things like uh, smallmouth bass and bluegill, so like that, they can also pop up. But now in the summer, I love fishing here too. I mean, in the summer, I love it because the water here is always cold, no matter what. It's always cold. So I love fishing here in the summer because, I mean, you're hot and you get cooled down, right? Right now, 
uh, mid-November. It's cold out. It's 50, again, 50 degrees, and the water's gonna be cold too. So, pretty cool crane. Um, but the only difference is in the summer, you got to be careful with the snakes, right? I have come across some snakes here, but that's what we're you know you're used to that. I mean, you're coming into their territory. Man, it's just beautiful. Look at all that beautiful terrain. All right, we're gonna keep walking a little bit more. This is not where we want to be. Unfortunately, very unfortunately, the prime spot is right over here by all these trees. Getting closer, you'll see it's not a prime spot because everyone gets their bait stuck in here on the trees. The only way to not get your bait stuck in the trees is to go inside the water and that's what I do because you also need distance so right out that way I see if you see my rod point that's where we need to cast right towards that little rock whether it's a rock or a, or a piece of wood I'm pretty sure it's a rock um, but right over there that's where we need to be casting and it's kind of hard to tell but it's, it's pretty far it's the lure we're using a little uh, gold spoon. So I found uh, I have the most luck with that. Uh, but yeah, look, see, there's there's a bait right there. There's a bait right there. There's a bait up there. Another spoon up there. <laughs> like yeah, so this is definitely the place to fish. It's just it's hard. It's tough, right? It's tough uh, getting past. So this is where right here. This is where I'm gonna enter. I'm gonna enter the water right here. I'm gonna stand hopefully right around this area right here so I'm not messing with the uh, with the trees there. But first, I'm, I'm just gonna observe a little bit because I'm not gonna go in here and <laughs> uh, guns a-blazing, getting everything wet, getting my, you know, everything on my shoes and everything wet if they're not even here right now. So, cause sometimes they're not even here, but the water's moving ex at the exact pace I need it to be. It's not, they're not releasing from the dam. Right up, right up there, right up there that way. If you see those, some cars right there, that's the dam, that's the, uh, the outlet, the release. So whenever, I don't know, I'm not sure when they release, but sometimes they just release water and that's where they'll release it from. And it just gets flooded right here. So, I mean, obviously it's going way too fast. There's no fishing happening right here. This is, this is optimal speed for the, uh, river to be at to, 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 to pull some trout out uh so yeah without further ado without more talking i'm gonna i'm gonna put the camera down just for a second i'm gonna observe a little bit uh and then uh if i decide to get in that's where that's where we, we will uh resume all right i'm seeing some good signs here so uh i'm gonna go ahead and resume now unfortunately i don't have a mount with me right now so ideally i'd like to i'd like for you to be first person with me um, on a mount on my chest but I don't have that right now so we're gonna go this route and uh, if I get a fish I'll come closer and I'll show you so I love about being out here man it's just so peaceful even if I don't catch nothing I mean this is as peaceful as it gets all right we're getting in so with me already knowing how slippery it is, we're gonna take our time here. We're gonna be extra careful. I already know kind of which way to go. Uh, I can see the rocks. I'm, again, I'm wearing my sunglasses. It's not because uh, it's sunny out. Obviously you can see that it's not sunny out, but they're polarized. I can see uh, inside the water uh, to a certain depth, right? I, if I lift up my sunglasses right now, I can't see no rocks. I can't. See, I can barely see this rock right here that's in front of me. It's a big, massive rock. Uh, I can. That's all I can see. But when I put my sun so polarized on, I can see everything down below. So uh, a lot less risk here. 
because uh, I know what I'm stepping on. I know what I'm stepping in uh, versus if you don't have these glasses. So, um, yeah, I'm in a much better position now. Hopefully I'm in frame. Um, yeah, let's catch a fish now. And let's not get caught by any park, park rangers. There we go. There we go. There we got one. First cast. First cast from the new spot. That's the way to do it. It's like getting a first spin bonus. Beautiful. Beautiful rainbow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. Beautiful rainbow right here. I do not want to lose this. So, I'm going to tighten up here. I felt like my... My beautiful rainbow here. Hooked bottom of the mouth. I'm going to release my bail here and just bring them over like this so we don't lose them. We're taking this guy to eat here. Beautiful rainbow trout. I'm trying to get back to you so we can get in view here. Now you gotta have like a pretty monster grip on these guys because they are the slipperiest fish to get. Hopefully I'm in frame here. Let's see what it looks like. There he is. Beautiful rainbow trout here. That's what you like to see. Right, he, he's ready to get away, but we're not letting him. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and clean him, get him ready to go. We're gonna fish a little bit more. All right, couple mis couple of mistakes I made here. I got my reel in the water. After a few casts, probably not this time, but next time if it doesn't get old up again, it's gonna run improperly right so i'm gonna have to get it dried out real good and then uh we'll get it nice old up and it'll be good to go again but that was a beautiful catch uh you don't get too many like that uh that's a perfect eating size any bigger and it's probably a breeder you want to put those back any smaller Smaller, yeah, you could take those too. Uh, itty bitty, tiny, you wanna just leave those. They're not gonna, uh, they might taste all right. They're gonna taste good, right? But um, you wanna have, a, have them, let them have a little bit more meat on their bones. This is probably the, uh, the optimal size you wanna be taking. It's gonna have a ton of meat. Uh, it's gonna taste really good. And it's not a breeder. So, no, we got another one. We got another one on, fish on. Here we go. I think it's smaller. Yeah, much smaller. This one's pretty much horsing it in there. <laughs> Another beautiful fish here. Okay. Again, this one's much smaller. So, and here's the thing. I, I, I was trying to mention it before I got, you know, I was super distracted by trying to make sure that fish didn't get away. But when you're dealing with trout, they're very, some, some fish are very hardy, right? Some fish you can, uh, you know, keep them out the water and do this and do that. And they're gonna be fine, right? Most notoriously catfish, right? <laughs> they can stay out of water a long time and they'll still be fine, right? But these fish, they can't be out of the water long. You can't handle them improperly. You wanna be in and out quick, right? So I'm gonna get in here, I'm gonna, unhook him quick. I'm going to get a quick picture. I'm going to try not to squeeze him. Uh, he's hooked pretty good, but we're going to make sure he's good to go. We're going to revive him as much as we can. You want to make sure you're not touching him too long. And uh, he should be able to swim off pretty well. Um, but he was a pretty deep hook. Honestly, I should probably keep him too. Um, but I'm going to see if he kicks really hard. Yeah, he's kicking. He kicked real hard. 
He's going to be fine. Actually, no, he's not. He's not going to be fine. So we're going to do the right thing. We're going to take him as well because he was just out of the water just way too long. Hey, we'll clean him up and we'll eat him too. We got a big, we got a big family with us here at the cabin this time, so none of this fish will go to waste. Again, it was my intention. It was my intention to to catch and release him, but this is good eating size too. He's been out of the water too long. If I release him, he's going to die. So uh, we don't want to do that. We want to uh, we want to fish responsibly. Uh, kind of like we want to gamble responsibly, we want to fish responsibly too. So this guy is going to, he's not going to go to waste. Uh, we're going to clean him too. And we go in the cooler. We're going to have a nice uh, fish fry tonight. So it makes for an amazingly easy clean here. Just like that, it's clean. It's clean, we're good to go. We gotta, we're going to wash off the blood. We're going to wash the insides off. Just like that, our fish is ready to go clean. No more blood. No more guts. The guts all came off with the head. All right, now again, I want to keep fishing. This is fun, right? We're having a good time. And my goal is catch and release, right? I want to, I don't want any more fish. Well, this is enough for us, right? If I have to, I will, and we'll eat it for sure. All right. But again, you're not going to catch fish. You're not going to catch fish every cast. Just like you're not going to win on every machine. You're not going the peacefulness out here. Uh, there was there was a one time, man, beautiful, beautiful 10-point buck just came across. And with all of his majesticness, he just came and he just walked, drank some water, and went about his business right down the way there. Oh, no. I talked too long. Oh, I lost my bait. Look, look what happens when I'm talking to you guys. You lose baits out here. So there goes the magic bait. I'm pretty sure that was the only one I had. Uh, I, hadn't, I haven't been to uh, Cabela's or Bass Pro Shops in a while. Uh, let's try Let's try to tie on one more bait. But if not, you know, I'm, I'm happy with what we got here. I'm happy with the outcome of this, uh, the result of this video. I mean, we got some fish in the cooler and, uh, you know, made some good content, right? So uh, I'm, tying on, I'm probably going to tie on another lure and, and see how this goes. All right. Uh, we'll be back. All right. So we're retied up again. We're going to mix it up a little bit. Yes, that was my last bait. So I'll start with is this little swim uh, white jig head with the white swim bait, clear white swim bait. Uh, and that's what we're going to start with. Uh, I also have backup swim jig i also have backup swim baits uh black and blue and pink so we're going to start with i don't have any more spoons that's probably going to be the magic uh touch but hey you know let's make it a challenge right so i also have backup pinks and i got backups black and blues all right these are all euro tackle uh let it sink just a little bit and we kind of want it to to swim kind of in that middle of middle to low end of the uh of the water column right um we don't want it to go we don't want it to be too high up there because we're not going to chase that and we don't want it to be too low because we're we're going to get snagged and we're going to lose our yeah and we're going to lose our we're going to lose our baits all right so let's let's test this for a little bit 10 20 minutes uh see how we do uh, if not, let's just go home and let's go back to the cabin and uh, let's cook up some fish, right? Well, let's go see how this see how this does, see how this compares. Uh, in my experience, the spoon is the is the way to go when you're chasing trout. But hey, we could get lucky and we can not get lucky, but we can uh, fool the fish a little bit and see if we can uh, catch something on the swim baits too. I don't want to lose this. Uh, and the jigs, the jig heads on these, they were about $6 a pack uh, for three. So six dollars, what, two bucks, two bucks each for jig heads. Uh, and then the packages, about $5 a pack on the, uh, 
on the actual bait itself. Um, but you know, there's nothing when you're having fun, you know. This is this doesn't compare to, you know, losing a uh, hundred dollars in two minutes whenever you're just uh, pressing that button, pressing that button. But uh, hey, we're having a good time out here. We've caught some fish. We're relaxing. We're enjoying the uh, we're enjoying the scenery. We're enjoying the weather. The the water, honestly, it doesn't. It, it'll probably get to me after a while, but right now I I can't. You know, either my legs are numb and I can't feel it, or I'm just you know having a good time and it does not bother me. Right, I'm enjoying it. Uh, whatever the case may be, is I'm I'm having a good time out here. So appreciate y'all watching again. I know this is a a little bit different than what the, the channel was was made for, but um, you know, sometimes we gotta sometimes you gotta pivot, right? We're gonna pivot, we're pivoting and trying something new and seeing what else we can what else we can get into here. Uh, a few more things we got on the docket. Um, of course, we're gonna go gamble, right? We're gonna go uh, we're gonna go to the Ida Bell Casino. Uh, probably one of the smaller ones which we're going to visit. Uh, it is much smaller than the, uh, let's see, what is it? What was it? The, where, where we, they wouldn't let us film? We, Megastar? Yeah, it's, it's, it's smaller than the Megastar. Um, but but I've, I've won good here. Like I've hit a, I've hit a few jackpots here. Uh, it has some, they have some good, good unique games. I got some free play. I think I got like maybe 70 or $100 of free play. So we're going to go play some of that uh, and uh, we're gonna go for we're gonna go on a hike we're gonna go check out one of the one of my favorite scenic heights in the summer we like to go kayaking right where there's some really cool kayak trails and uh, canoes kayaking canoes and stuff like that to do uh, activities uh, but for now we're fishing we're having a good time we're just yesterday man we just relaxed in the cabin all day uh, we went for a little hike around the cabin. All right, so I've been retrieving pretty slow. I've been doing pretty a pretty slow retrieve. I'm gonna switch the cadence up, and I'm gonna do like I was doing the spoon. Let's see if that's the difference. I think the last test that I'll do is, um, is I'll change the white to, what do you think, pink? Why not? I'll change the white to pink. Oh, oh, I had one, I had one. No, it didn't come back for it. All right, no problem. All right, we're going to do three more casts with the white. Uh, and then we're going to switch it up to the pink. Let me do one that way. Oh, the wind. Oh, what's going on here? Camera fell. Let's fix it. Yeah, we still got the same one. Yeah. Yeah, it's too windy. I'm probably gonna call it quits. I can't even cast where I, it's not going where I want it to go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call it. All right, guys. It's uh, my bones are so cold from being in that river. I gotta come here and get in the hot tub, uh, warm, warm up a little bit, and then I'll take a, a nice warm shower. Oh yeah, that feels much better. Hi, baby. Hi. Does it feel good? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. And I forgot my my daughter's bathing suit, but we improvised and we're just wearing some uh, some athletic clothes, and she's doing fine with that. But I love it in this hot tub. A beautiful view. We got a little creek down there. Trees, trees, and, trees and surrounding tree, us. And the trees are so fun. And they're so cool. <laughs> There's my little blogger in the making there. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
Let's relax in here for a little bit.